Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss some simple concepts related to window function. Okay, and this particular topic is very helpful in any data analysis related projects. Okay, we widely use this. It is not like something which is specific to Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse, but rather you can use this particular concept in any SQL related platforms. Okay, so concept is same, but just little bit application i am going to discuss in my this particular video and the upcoming videos okay that is window function basically applies aggregation that can be sum max mean etc and ranking function like rank coordinates rank etc over a particular window window is nothing but set of rows okay i hope you have already studied sliding window algorithm in your structure and algorithm course even we studied in our computer communication course related to networking there also we apply sliding window concept in many places right that same kind of concept you can consider that a window will be there windows are nothing but set of rows in our database tables and on that we will be applying different functions either that can be aggregate related functions or some ranking functions okay and generally we take the help of over clause with window function okay so over clause basically do three things one is basically partition by we can mention that is i hope when you studied hive that time you have already encountered the partition concept right that is basically on which particular uh, split criteria we query most of the time that we can take for partitioning the data to increase the query performance right like that same way suppose you are having a data set and you want to make partitions on a particular column then you can make use of that particular column in the partition by clause okay then order by also sometime we use inside each partition suppose you want to make those records in particular order based on a particular column that you can mention in order by clause okay and then there are two kind of windows generally we encounter one is sliding window that is window will be keep on sliding like for example you can configure such that uh, for aggregation or for ranking what it will do it will consider the current row and above two rows okay that is current row and before that whatever two rows are there that particular will be considered as one window okay next time when the window will be making a slide what will happen when it will be going to next row that row it will be considering and previous to that two rows it will be considering so that is like a, like exact sliding window and there is another like cumulative window okay cumulative window you can consider like current row and before that whatever row are there we will consider that or you can consider current row and below that particular row in the table whatever rows are there we want to consider all of that so that is kind of cumulative frame okay so in window function you can use any of these two frames okay and you can specify how to partition and order the input rows as well as the type of window frame to apply based on the over clause okay and the general syntax looks like this that is select function obviously this function should be supported for window function approach okay if it is taking some arguments past that over is the clause and then here is the actual syntax okay partition by if you are if you want to do partition app you give partition by then in individual partition if you want to make them order based on a particular column give order by clause and then mention the window frame whether you want cumulative type window or sliding window okay so that's the pretty much simple syntax now let's see some application until we apply this particular concept it is hard to feel this or have a clear idea so i will suggest you along with this particular discussion you just practice this explore in google lot of resources are there you can have a practice and then you can make this particular concept clear okay so like suppose for example many times this particular question is asked in the interview process as well so suppose i want the employee which is having fifth highest salary okay in the employee table that information i want so for that kind of stuff we need global ranking okay obviously we need order by clause so to order the employee information based on employee salary but obviously we need one particular column which will be having the indicator that this is the first value this is the second value this is the third value so on okay so that time you can use global ranking concept that time basically in this over clause you can ignore the partition by because we want the global information right in global comparison we are doing only complete table not any small small parts okay so suppose simple business requirement is give the fifth max salary 
of any employee from the employee table, irrespective of department. Then that means you need to consider the employee salary globally. Okay, the competition will be in global level, not in department wise or something. So that time you can go with global ranking. And obviously you can use dense rank, right? Which basically returns the rank of a value within a group of values. Or you can apply in global level also without gaps in the ranks. Okay. And the rank value starts from one and continuously increase sequentially. If two values are the same, then they will be having same dense rank basically. So this is the simple syntax. Select employee ID, employee salary, dense rank is the basically window function it require no argument because it is just a uh, sequential incremental value over is the clause what we are using then here we don't need partitioning because we want global level comparison right global ranking we want so we are ignoring the partition by sector we are directly jumping into order by okay order by employee salary de decreasing okay so that what will happen as we are applying decreasing part so the employee which is which will be having high salary that will be having rank one then the second employee which is having second high salary will be having rank two like that okay and the tens rank whatever column name you want to give that you can mention after that okay maybe uh, you can give anything tens rank value something like that which is alias name from the employee table okay and that way you can apply global ranking so if you check in snowflake so first what you can do you can drop the database then here you can create the database then you can use the database and here i am creating a dummy employee table here you can see already by default these are such that the maximum salary is the last element then second max then third max fourth max fifth max sixth max and the lowest salary is this one okay so if you execute select start from this particular table you will able to see this particular stuff okay now suppose the requirement is getting the overall rank based on employee salary and you have to rank such that the employee which is having highest salary will be given rank 1 so that time you can use simple this clause select employee id employee salary tens rank over the order by clause you can mention and then the global order from this particular table okay so if i execute that here you'll able to see the employee which is having maximum salary is given order 1 then second max is given order 2 and so on okay now suppose you are asked what is the third highest salary in this whole employee table irrespective of their department so what you can do you can put this particular concept this particular window operation as a cte or common table expression with rank table as this one and then you can select from rank table where global order equal to 3 that way you will be getting the employee which is having third highest salary okay see here we are getting e. perfect right and then obviously another concept is important what is the difference in between rank and dense rank so both require order by concept and both basically rank and both are basically sequentially implemented but there is a difference how they handle the tie situation okay so let me create one table and then here let me insert some data here you see that this particular entity is also having 110 value and same for another row also it is having 110 and what we will do we will try to apply dense rank and we will try to apply rank on this particular column only and we will try to see how it is differing okay so if we execute that see global order rank for dense rank concept it is coming like 130 maximum value it is given 1 122 110 110 2 rows same value they are given same rank 3 3 then the next lowest value is 100 it is given the next sequential value which is 4 but if you observe only rank when we applied first one is 1 second one is 2 as both of them are same both for both of them we are getting 3 3 but next time for the next which is lowest value here after 3 we are getting 5 not 4 okay that's the difference so rank basically give the same value for the columns for which we are getting tie but for the next value it will be skipping the actual sequence okay so after this particular one actually we should be getting four but here we are getting five because here in, in place of four where four should come there actually tie happened okay like for example if i increase this particular value to another one like i can put one more 
and then here I can give this indicator as 4, this one as 5 and this one as 6 and if I just create or replace the table here then if I execute rank and then rank here you will see that here see 110, 110, 110 so that's why for both all of them dense rank is 3 as well as rank is 3 but for the next value it is 100 it is having dense rank as 4 maintaining the sequence but it is having rank as 6 why because initially this is 3 this should be 4 this should be 5 and then this should be 6 but because all of them are having same value all of them are getting rank 3 and 4 and 5 are getting skipped and we are getting 6 directly okay so rank basically skip if tie occurs okay this is only difference so better in use dense rank in that kind of case because dense rank is what in practical scenario you use same rank give same value then for the next lowest or next highest value just increase the sequence by one and give that that's what the simple concept and in the interview also it is asked what is the difference in between rank and dense rank so this is another important topic which i covered so this is all pretty much about this particular video i hope you have if you have already worked with this kind of window function you find it similar this is nothing new but i'll be covering some more concepts in my upcoming videos with some very interesting use case with respect to window function till then stay tuned Thank you.